Hello everyone, my name is Bree and welcome to Documented Journey. Today is another tutorial and the uh, prompt that we are going to be tackling today is stocking. Uh, the materials I'm using is no different than before. I have a watercolor journal, a uh, pencil, a ballpoint pen, an eraser, some watercolor brushes, and some watercolor. This illustration is actually going to be tall so I need to move this and just make sure that you are in frame so you can see what I'm doing okay so we're gonna first start off with our pencil and we are going to draw shapes simple shapes first to create the stocking so the first is we're gonna draw an oval the oval is going to tilt upwards like that and then we're going to draw a box on top of it. So we first start off the oval in the box. At any point in this video, if you feel like you need to pause the video and um, finish what you're doing or whatever, uh, go ahead. That is, um, that is the beauty of YouTube. So um, I am going to go rather quickly, but uh, like I said, you have every opportunity to pause it. So here's our stocking. Now we're going to add some gifts on the inside. We're going to draw a box coming out, but tilting it up towards the um, up towards the top of the paper, and then we're going to draw another box coming down. These two lines are parallel. This one needs to come down towards like the bottom of the page, and this one sl slants the other way. And then we're going to put a bow, or let's just put some ribbon, I guess, on the front here, and then it goes around and maybe the ribbon comes this way so let's see it's gonna follow the parallel line up and over I'm gonna round those corners and then right here in the middle, middle is where we're gonna draw our um, our bow and let's just kind of cock it sideways. So we're going to draw a circle and then two triangles coming off. It's going to shove into the stocking and then we'll have the uh, bow part coming out. Now these are just like long rectangles with little M's on the end. We've drawn this before but that's kind of what that looks like. And then let's just do one other thing. We're gonna have a candy cane coming off here. So you're gonna make a half circle. You're gonna make an end, like a really thick candy cane. And then you're gonna kind of follow it down. And then to make your candy cane stripes, you're gonna curve them. And they're gonna continuously go the same direction, but making that curve. So it looks like that candy cane's rounded. And then our stocking is full. I want to create some fluff, so I'm going to use this as almost like a skeleton, and this is going to be the, the white fluff of the stocking. And then I'm going to erase the underneath part of the stocking. This is just going to come up and curve around. It's kind of important because it looks like then that goes around the candy cane right here. This little section right here is pretty important. This one is blocked by the bow. All right, now let's create a little bit of a pattern on the, the like stocking boot itself. I was thinking about, uh, you know how the old stockings or the old socks have like some heel and toes? So that would be cool. We haven't drawn a big snowflake, so I think let's do that. So let's do a circle here. I just drew a line down, and then I'm going to draw a line out, two points on the side. I'm going to erase it through the middle. I kind of erased my whole circle. And now I'm going to draw a diamond on the top, and on each end of the, the lines that I drew. That one was funky, so I'm gonna redraw that one. Okay, I'm gonna make these lines actually thick. This one is kind of funky too. Okay, 
I'm going to make them thick. So I'm just drawing two lines parallel to each other. So I have all my parallel lines drawn. And now I'm going to draw a V going towards the diamond. But I'm going to also make that thick. So I'm drawing two lines and making it a thicker line right next to it. And this is going to be our little decorative uh, stocking. And then we'll put little dots everywhere, too. It doesn't matter where. It's like a polka dot kind of thing, but also resembling uh, snowflakes. I erased my heel a little, so I'm put that back. I'm doing it in the heel, too. The heel and the toe, they'll just be a different color but these little dots will stay white. Okay, now we'll move on to pen. First thing I'm gonna do is outline everything. Um, I'm gonna speed this up, but you go ahead and pause the video. I forgot to draw this little circle in the middle, so you can go ahead and do that. When I am drawing the toe and the heel, they're just a light outline. It's just going to be a gradual change of color there. Okay, now I'm going to erase. I always start at the top because I know that is where I started, and so I know that uh, ink is going to be dry. So it won't smudge. Okay, now we are going to add ballpoint pen. The shading, I'm gonna start up here and I'm gonna use my marks going this way. This I am treating very similar to the hat that we did on the elf. So I'm pulling from each corner. This one goes this way, this one is gonna come this way. And then I do my shape. I'm using this line coming this way and then this one this way, and that is how I'm shading this. So I'm gonna speed this up a bit, and you just continue shading. So now I'm working my way all the way through, still using that same shading method, but look, I was at the, um, the top, now I'm at the bottom of the um, shapes, and that's okay, that is, the consistency that we want to keep. Now down here, I'm kind of just going to scrub at this line and work my way up. All right, so candy cane done. We're going to start with the bow. On the bow, I am just going to use these lines right here, and I'm going to run those down on the left side and then scrub at it so it looks like that. I am going to do the same, these lines right here again, inside the middle of the bow and then getting smaller as I go towards the knot. And a little bit on the other side like that. Still, because the uh, presence inside of the stocking, I'm gonna scrub at that line, creating that depth and illusion that it's inside the stocking. Okay. Now I am going to treat each section as a shape. So looking at this shape right here, I'm gonna come in with these lines at this point and pull it down. As I pull it down, I'm gonna lighten my pressure. And then I'm gonna scribble at the sides to make it blend. I'm gonna come now down on this side and pull up same way of lines. And when I pull up, remember I'm fading, so that way I'm getting a nice gradual fade. There it is. I'm going to start over here at this point and I'm going to go this direction. I'm switching direction so that way they don't like to look like they're on the same shape. I'm going to come down here at this point doing the same thing, same direction, moving up and getting lighter. And then scrubbing it out and creating a little shape, a little scribble in there. I'm going to start on the bow right here. I am actually going to come in with vertical lines right on the side here, and then right on the other side here. And I'm gonna scrub at that line right there. And that's going to make that section. 
And this section is going to be a little bit more tricky. I'm almost going to act like it's two, like this is a line here. So vertical lines coming out of the knot like we did with the other one. Fade, 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 fade. And do the same thing on the other side. I'm going to fade towards the center and now I'm going to scrub it out so that way it looks blended. Now when I draw my shape here, I'm going to add in that bend that the uh, ribbon has. This back shape is a little different, so I'm going to come in with these lines right here and I'm going to create it like almost like color it in. It's dark. Now I'm going to come in at this point right here by the knot with these and I'm going to bring it up and fade out, blend that out a little bit, blend out that back part that I had and we'll call that shape done. I'm going to come in from the corner, horizontal lines, just coming out and blending out and then I'm going to scrub at those and blend those. And then this is a horizontal line too because it's actually part of the bow and we're just going to do the lines all the way across like that. This is part of the bow too. So, okay, for these tails, I am just going to use these lines and I'm gonna start at the tip and just kind of scrub it in a little bit. So you're kind of getting thick and then thin with your lines, and then the present's done. For the fluff on your stocking, all I'm going to do is I'm going to do horizontal lines, and I'm going to kind of come down here like this, and then I'm going to create a shape. And then I'm also going to hold my pen really far back, and I'm going to kind of make some cloud-like scribbles to create the illusion of fluff. I'm also going to take some lines going this direction again in this little back part and give that some value back there, scribbling that out so that way it looks like it's blended. All right, and then maybe also on the other side here to balance all that out. I like to work in threes, so you see I've got one, two, and then this section right here is three. Okay. Going underneath and into the stocking, we want to create a shadow here. So I'm going to use um, horizontal lines and pull down and fade out. And then I'm going to pull from the corners. This corner is going to go this way. And I'm going to pull and fade out, getting staying closer to the, uh, the fluff. On this side, I'm going to go this way pull and fade out, staying closer to the fluff. And it looks like I still need some here. This uh, line, I was going in this direction, so I'm gonna flip it and I'm gonna go this direction, right underneath here. And then I'll probably push them back into there. There we go. I'm going to outline really lightly this uh, snowflake to create some texture here all the way around. It doesn't have to be perfect, mine is not, but I do want it to be light. It's just a fine detail. Okay, now I'm gonna add some shading down here on the bottom. I am doing vertical lines all along this bottom part and then I'm going to scrub out that line and do a little shape around it and I, I did it up here I do it here and now I'm going to do it over here somewhere I'm actually I'm th I think I'm going to do this type of line right here at the top of the toe and let it gradually fade into your your curve and then scrub it out. All right, the only other shadow is, oh, I wanna outline that in the center. That was, yeah, thin outline in the center. And then I wanna add a little bit of shadow. They're gonna go that way on all of these diamonds. 
to create some shadow. And now we are ready for paint. All right, so I'm using size four Escoda brushes. I have a fluffy and um, a pointy brush. I wanna first start with some red. This is like a scarlet. I'm gonna put the colors down here. It's like a scarlet Daniel Smith. It's a true red. I'm gonna put some red on my palette and I am going to make sure that it's light. And now I'm going to paint the bottom of the stocking. Now when I do this, going around all these dots. So it's just a thin layer of that scarlet red. And I'm going to speed this process up because I am painting around all these little dots. So you need to pause it and then you can pick me back up on the other side. Okay, now what I am going to do is I am going to paint this bow purple. I haven't used purple in a lot of these, but I want it to kind of stand out. So I'm gonna pick a light version of this purple. I'm just going to paint the entire bow. Actually, I am going to paint the whole thing purple because I want the present to, to be light purple and then the bow to be dark purple. Just to make it stand out a different, like a different color since we have everything else. Okay, the candy cane is actually going to be green. Pick up some green, lighten that up. I'm actually gonna add some yellow to it to make it more limey. All right, and then I'm going to paint every other one. I like painting first with the like end of the candy cane right there, and then I follow that on up. Alternating every single one. Be careful right by that purple. I touched it, so my purple's bleeding a little bit into my green. All right, next thing is I want to touch, oh wait, uh, purple. That purple is like a um, garbanzo violet, I guess, in Daniel Smith. And that green and yellow that I used is a true, like, lemon yellow. And the green would have been this, which is a, a sap of Daniel Smith. I'm not doing that color swatch any good. There we go. It's just a lightened version and I mix the two of those. And then I wanna take a cobalt blue color. I have no mixing space. We'll go right here and we're gonna water that down because it's just going to be the highlight on the fluff. So I'm just gonna tap it into those areas that I applied my pen and then I'm going to blend it out. You don't like the blue you can always add some gray let's see just a true gray here you can water that down pretty good and add that into your blue so that way it's more of a blue gray and it's not so icy and then blend all that out All right, I'm gonna switch to my more detailed brush and I have this red on my palette. I want, let's see, I want to take that scarlet, mix that scarlet, pretty heavy swatch with your gray that you have to make a deeper, richer um, red. 
And then I'm going to touch those areas that I applied my ballpoint pen to make that shadow. Okay, and now I'm going to take a wet brush, clean water, and blend that out all over. I keep re-dipping my brush to make sure that I don't have pigment on my brush and I'm not painting it, I'm just blending it. All right, awesome. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a little bit more scarlet to that mixture and make sure that it's I'm getting like a nice watery glaze and what I'm going to do is I want to um, paint in these these um, like elbow, it's not an elbow. I want to paint these spaces in. This is the heel that we had. It's just going to be a different tone of red. When you paint over your shadow, you should, um, it should just be a darker color and it'll be like, it's called glazing. So you will just be painting over the top and it's not a big deal. I am going to speed this up right here because of the dots that we are um, going around. It does take a while. Doing the same thing on the toe. Perfect. Okay, now I'm gonna come back up here to my purple and I'm going to get a more pigmented amount of purple for the bow. And I'm gonna to touch all the spots that I put pen down. And I'm going to blend. Awesome. Now I'm gonna take the green and I'm gonna add a little bit more green to my yellowy green mixture and I'm going to touch all those pen areas. And now I'm going to blend. For the snowflake, we are actually going to pick back that, pick up that cobalt color again. And we are going to touch it into those little marks we made in the diamonds. And then we're going to blend these out. Now if you have extra pigment, you can run it down your snowflake. So it's like a lighter blue. You are going to be seeing, I think, one more video from me. It just depends on with the editing. It is five prompts. Um, so you will be seeing those. I'm also going to be doing like a flip through of this and my thoughts on Create December. So that's coming next Sunday for you. I hope you guys had a wonderful time with these tutorials. Remember, if this is at all something that you are interested in doing more of, I am going to have um, the virtual lessons on my website starting in January. So if you are not subscribed to the newsletter, it's in the description box below for you. Go ahead and get subscribed so that way you are are one of the first people to know about when I post a new lesson. Until next time, everybody, I'll see ya.